So I've already done a full review of the Veteran Sherman with the Navi tire, but now this is the street tire. It's already so powerful, so quick, so nimble and agile and controllable that I wanted to see if I could have more. I want you to be the best street wheel you can be. So I had three complaints with the original Navi tire. First one, I thought the slow speed control was a little choppy. Secondly, I thought pedal scraping was a pain in the ass. And third, I've already taken care of by adding a mudguard. This mudguard will save my ass, literally and figuratively. Or just literally. I wanna thank my sponsors, E-Wheels and Speedy Feet for sponsoring this video. Thank you, and let's go. <laughs> The slow speed control, so much better. It's way more precise if I just slowly turn a little bit that way. It doesn't abruptly start turning in a way, but this one, it's, my, it's very fine. Once I feel a little bit more comfortable with this wheel, and I trust that I did a good job replacing the tire, I want to take this out much more aggressively on the street. Smooth as butter. turns faster but there's too many people here so I shouldn't do it so That was a pedal clearance problem. Pedal clearance on this is not high enough to do technical trails. So anyways, ah, veteran, ah, I wanna go back onto the street. Yes, I regret nothing. Feels so good. The 
tire is definitely smoother on the street. So my analogy for how the differences between the knobby tire versus the street tire feel is like the difference between riding on groom trails versus fresh powder. I know my wrist guards just saved my ass. My hip. Got all those tears here. Don't do what I do. I got some wobbles on the, uh, when I went over those bumps. I probably have maybe some scrapes on my hip. Maybe, uh... oh wow. That's interesting, I didn't, I barely felt that one. My knees are fine. What basically slid was mainly A little bit of chest damage there. And the wheel looks perfectly fine too. The roll cage seems to have done its job. It got ground up right in the front, but everything seems to be fine. The headlight works. The corner of this got cut up a little bit. But overall, it looks like the veteran is walking away with like basically minimal damage. This is the, probably the worst fall I've ever had in a couple years. This trolley handle will go down. I'm just gonna have to remove it. That's what wobbles can do to you. Most riders have a spark for gear. Mine was about three years ago. So let's do a little breakdown of what just happened. I'm coming into this intersection at about 40 miles per hour, and this wouldn't be a problem if I didn't hit an unexpected bump. This is a double bad situation because not only am I wobbling, I'm bouncing too. I think if it was one or the other, I'd be able to manage it. But every time I land, the wobble is getting more intense until I'm forced to bail. I'd like to make it clear that I don't blame the veteran in any way for what just happened. Given the circumstances, I don't think I would have been able to avoid this without suspension. I need to recalibrate what I'm feeling about this wheel because it's been like a week and I've kind of forgotten what the knobby tire felt like and to get a better idea of maybe the nuances I'm missing, I'm going to meet up with my friend Enir who has the Veteran as well. I'm here with Enir. She's uh, a long-term rider. She had the MSX, but apparently that wasn't enough for her. We're gonna do like some A-B testing here because she has the knobby tires that came originally with it. You wanna talk? You have to talk really loudly though. You wanna switch wheels? Yep. No, you have to say yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like it? Scraping the pedals a lot more with this knobby tire, and I'm not liking that. It's also a lot more noisy. Let me try that one. Okay, try this tire again. Oh yeah, 
it definitely turns a lot easier. Kind of forgot about the pedal screw problems, but I wasn't sure if that was just my head or whether that was real. All right, so here's my test. I'm gonna see how fast I can spin in a circle. Right now I'm taking turns with a street tire that would definitely be scraping the pedals on the knobby tire. There's no question in my mind, if you are gonna do like a high speed windy course, that the street tire would absolutely destroy the knobby tire. But I do notice that at the high speeds, it's smooth, but it's a little squirrely. Yeah, there's definitely a little more shake. In here, so what do you think? When I ride slowly, it's better than that. And the noise is smaller. And when high speeds, I don't like, it's like MSP, like an MSX. Which one do you like more? Um, I, I, I think maybe I will keep it. For the sake of speed, you're gonna keep the knobby tire. You know, you know I like speed. I know you do. <laughs> So, which one should you get? The street tire or the knobby tire? I have very mixed feelings. So coming into this, I thought it would be a very clear victory with the street tire. Up to 30 miles an hour, it feels fantastic. The handling and control is much more precise. Quieter, smoother. I'm, I don't need to rock the wheel as much in order to get the same amount of turn. So I'm getting less pedal scrapage. The knobby tire still performs amazingly well on the street. It's just that the street tire just kind of takes it up to a slightly next level in terms of softness and smoothness and quiet and stealth. If you're not planning to go more than 30 miles an hour, I think the street tire is a clear winner. But once you go above 30 miles an hour, that's when I'd say things are not as clear. I'm not liking it at high speeds because it's too sensitive at turning. I'm finding that I have to rock my body in more than the wheel. It puts me in this unnatural position. It means I have less control on the turns. The sensitivity is just right with the knobby tires. I don't need to like lean my body more than I want to rock the wheel. I want to be able to put all my weight directly down, all the way down to the tire. So I'm thinking maybe if I have a street tire that's less sensitive, I'd be happier with it. For that reason, I like the lack of sensitivity with the knobby tire. I knew switching to a street tire would have meant worse traction off-roading, so that's not even something that I really considered. This is my street wheel. At the end of the day, the street tire is smoother, it's less noisy, it's more precise at slow speeds and more controllable, it's more pleasant, you get less pedal scrapage. But I find that the street tire is less stable and less controllable at high speeds. Pretty much that reason alone is the reason why I don't like the street tire and I'm going back to the knobby. So this is part two of the review. If you haven't seen part one, which is the full review of the Veteran Sherman with the knobby tire, Check it out, I'll leave the link over there. If you're interested in picking up this wheel with the street tire or the knobby tire, it doesn't matter. You can check them out at eWheels and Speedy Feet, and I'll leave links down below. Ready? <laughs>